What I was trying to do with this is express humor in art. It doesn't have to be highbrow. Uh, I got the idea of a self-portrait with a mirror. I just threw it together with simple, plain items. And uh, in fact, I just went to the store and bought the mirror, made my own design around it and put up their self-portrait. And I thought it'd be great at any party that people would line up to look at their self-portrait. This is another Roger story, my son-in-law. He had saved some uh, remnants from the USS Iowa battleship from World War II, and he had saved the wood in it. So he had brought it to see if I could do something with it. So the first one he brought, he brought me 14 pieces of, 14 or 15 pieces of wood. So I had to configure what I was gonna do and naturally a ship came to mind since that's where it was born. All right, I put it together within a couple hours by configuring all the different designs because they came in different shapes similar to this one in my fireplace. He brought me the 14 or 15 pieces I had, I designed the ship, he has it in his house now, and I used every piece. Didn't cut a thing, and it came out perfect. Uh, these all have an interesting uh, history together, is that they derive from one uh, kind of armature with my sculpture, and that was either a liquor bottle or their wine bottle. Uh, and they were all drunk at a, at a party or at a dinner that we had. And for me not to waste anything, I always tried to incorporate uh, items that were used into my art. And I still do that today. Uh, but I thought it was uh, sort of interesting to point out that you can tell after I mention it to you where, where they uh, came from. So I just wanted to show all of them in its entirety. And this is part of them. This was uh, a modeling clay that we used on all my sculptures and it's self-hardening. Uh, so after I would put the shapes in the forms and if I had to continue them for any two, three days, I'd just put a wet cloth over it and keep it pliable. And then at the end stage, when I get all and finish the detail work, then more than likely it would be semi uh, dry. And then for the final stage, I just put it in the oven and bake it until it got uh, stone hard. And then it was just a matter of putting my different finishes, which I uh, had on a lot of my works, including painting, uh, renovations of frames, uh, all of this, the, the one big factor in all of this to get the age requirement is two things. Shoe polish, brown shoe polish, uh, ash from your fireplace to get the patina, and a rubbed gold that you just highlight and touches. And you get all the age factor that you can create it could look a hundred years old once you put all those factors together. And I can't extol the benefits of brown shoe polishing up because it's throughout my house. It has to be, I have used light brown, but it's got to be that dark, got a real nice, deep, rich brown tone to it. And it, it, it has a luminous quality that it's, it's somewhat opaque that you can st see through it, that uh, there might be details you want to let show through, or you might want to completely cover it up with three or four coats. But anyway, it's just, to me, it was just a miracle thing. This was uh, one of my new ventures. I had uh, some pieces of waterproof wood and I wanted to do an outside sculpture. 
And so there again, I just played with them, put them together and made interesting shapes and uh, made them in kind of a figurative uh, elements with very bright and festive colors. And uh, <clears throat> I put uh, a graphic design in between to uh, really make it really, really pop. And then this was a used grinding wheel that I had. I save all my worn out things and use them incorporated in my art. And it gives it a central point of reference. And uh, basically that's uh, just using pieces of wood that I had left that I wanted to use up but make a very interesting presentation. And the color just makes it. And it's uh, done with acrylic. And then I put a uh, varnish protection over it and the wood's already uh, waterproof. And then on this particular one, I just took metal strapping to embellish and highlight certain areas of the sculpture to add interest. But I thought they were fun. They are absolutely artworks in themselves independent of using them in an in a artwork. I mean, uh, just the design of the uh, computer is just fabulous. When I saw it, it just blew my mind when he brought them here. Uh, he just had them outside. I had, of course, I had to clean them up and uh, I varnished them and made them shine. And then sometimes I incorporate color on them besides just using them plain or I might put just a simple line that would uh, be something you'd see on a chipboard. But very nice, I like it.